hi I'd like to show you the um, engine block that I'm going to be building up and this engine was very low mileage um, so normally you you know you would have no reason to want to strip it down but because the car had been stored for a long time in a, in a garage the original owner decided to drain the radiator so you know you didn't freeze up in the winter but then he just left the cap off so what's happened is all the remaining um, water that was left in the block here rusted quite badly um, and the engine was so gunked up with rust in all the coolant passages that I had no choice but to strip it down fully to actually clean it out. This water pipe um, is completely gunked up. That was the first clue that I was in trouble with the inside of the engine. So it took a long time to actually get down in here and clear everything out properly. Um, I used an acid bath as well. It's looking reasonable now. There is some pit. I won't be, you won't, won't be able to see down there with the camera, but it is reasonably okay in there now, and it doesn't seem to be any um, actual damage. You know, it's not uh, completely corroded through. Um, but the bores are very nice. I've given them a quick hone with one of these flex hone brushes. Um, so they're very good at just cleaning up the cylinder walls. And then I thought about using some different pistons to standard, um, just because I'd got some custom made con rods. That had I had these for a while, and I don't know why, but whoever's made them, they're actually made half a millimetre longer than they should in terms of the standard length. So I just put them in the cupboard and that was it, and then started to look for a piston that could be used with them, and eventually I found. Honda D series pistons and you can get some nice quality ones from different manufacturers these are forged and the Honda is normally a 75 millimeter bore engine but of course the Daihatsu is 76 millimeters but luckily a few of the companies do oversized pistons and so this is a 76 millimeter Honda D-series piston and it's flat topped and the combination of this conrod that's a little bit longer and this piston means I'm only half a millimeter less height in standard than you know, in terms of the uh, the compression height of the piston. So, what I also like about these is you've got large valve pockets. So there'll be no possible way that the valves, if there was ever ever a problem with the uh, you know with the timing belt breaking or um, that what the valves can't hit the piston because of the deep recesses and also the thickness here of the um at the top above the first ring means that you don't have to worry about the slight wear step on a on a any used engine you're going to end up with a slight ridge, a slight wear step at the top. You won't be able to see it, and if, I can only just feel it. Can't feel anything here. You, it's, it's, that's not the problem. It's, it's front and back. You'll feel a slight step. Now, if you put um, 
one thing that could happen in a severe case is the step could damage the top ring of a piston um, unless you remove the step it means honing the, honing the cylinder <clears throat> so what with this piston the top ring is going to sit lower down below that that slight wear step so that's another nice thing not to worry about I'm going to build this up in the next couple of days just got to um, clean it up a bit more I've got an air compressor to to blow out some of the dust and some of these um, you know some of the uh, oil holes and things like that and I'm slowly getting uh, getting things done